How to Write a Captivating DBQ Essay What is a DBQ essay? Many students often ask themselves what does a DBQ stand for? When they are tasked to write this essay genre. A DBQ essay refers to a document-based question, a type of essay where students are provided documents that they analyze and then write an essay on. The majority of the time, you will receive several documents such as news articles, press releases, maps, pictures, and charts to analyze. It is widespread for AP exams, and many students struggle to maneuver this test, owing to poor analytical and writing skills. However, it is essential to pass this test as it can determine a student's college placement. The exam takes 55 minutes, so you must be quick and alert to complete it on time. If you would like guidance on this, check out our article on how to write an informative essay. What is the purpose of a DBQ essay? There are many different essay types. The different variations, such as argumentative, narrative, and expository, exist to fulfill other functions, appeal to other majors, and affect the essay structure, tone, technique, and how evidence is used. In our case, the DBQ essay is used to interpret historical material by analyzing and connecting the different concepts in the paper. A student is required to formulate a thesis which they then support using the data provided. The sources are also analyzed. How do I structure my DBQ essay? Like other essay types, when you search for how to write a captivating DBQ essay or how to write a DBQ a push, you will be advised to divide your essay into an introduction, body, and conclusion. For this, you should divide your arguments into paragraphs. 1. Introduction Begin by providing the historical context of the topic and briefly present the ideas you will analyze to show you know how to write a captivating DBQ essay. You should also state your thesis at this juncture. 2. Body Paragraph 1. Provide deeper context on the topic. For example, you can use two documents in this paragraph to address the view of the first parties, the federal and democratic parties. Use the body paragraphs to discuss various ideas you will support with information sourced from the documents. 3. Body Paragraph 2. Present your first point. Use points from and mention documents that support this point. For instance, one could present the changing ideals and shift as they occurred over the years and show how the parties shifted over time. 4. Body Paragraph 3. Mention your second point. Use more documents to perform a deeper analysis. You can also use an external example to enhance this. For instance, you could show how ideals changed after the war with Britain and how it impacted the federal party. 5. Body Paragraph 4. State your third point. Use analysis and documents that emphasize this point. An example would be the new parties that formed after these issues arose and the new parties that emerged. 6. Body Paragraph 5. If you still have points to include, use them to analyze the continuity of the theme. A good DBQ essay example would consist of how the different parties developed after the shift, including their interpretation of the Constitution. 7. Conclusion. This paragraph marks the closing of your essay. As such, experts advise that you write your conclusion beginning with restating your objective, then summarizing your ideas. For tips, you could look into our guide on how to write a conclusion for an essay. How to write a good DBQ essay. Since every essay has its unique format, there are rules one will find when they look for how to write a captivating DBQ essay to enhance their writing. For our case, the DBQ essay format is, 1. Read the question thrice to ensure you understand it. At first glance, you may miss certain essential items that affect your writing. For this reason, we suggest reading the question and instructions thrice. You may be required to compare and contrast or critique the author's viewpoint. It is essential to understand what is required of you and how to fulfill it. 2. Identify the main keywords. Identifying the relevant keywords lets you understand what the essay expects you to accomplish. These include analyzing, comparing, economic, human rights, evolution, and political. For example, a task may require you to write on the following prompt, analyze the extent and reasons for changes in U.S. political parties between 1791 to 1833. Using this prompt, you can ascertain that the keywords are political parties, changes, 1791 to 1883 and extent. 3. Analyze the documents and avoid skimming. 
The AP exam allows you to review the content for 15 minutes. Perusing the documents will enable you to comprehend how to write a captivating DBQ essay and note down important points that will enhance your argument. With this, you can collect sufficient evidence that helps you support your thesis and helps you plan your ideas. 4. Think outside the box, try to craft a unique idea that will intrigue your readers. This can increase your marks as it showcases your critical thinking and analytical abilities. It is also beneficial to present a different perspective that shows your understanding. 5. Proofread and edit, read your completed paper to check that you have a logical flow, the correct names and dates, and paragraph order. Also, check for grammatical and logical errors to ensure your paper is well written. 6. Ask for assistance, your history teacher could be an excellent resource for assistance in improving your DBQ essay, but they may not be available at the moment. For this reason, you could also opt for your librarian, peers, or an online tutor. 7. Don't explain document contents, the documents are not meant to be explained but rather act as a reference point used to reinforce your arguments. As such, do not just list down points and expound on them. For example, you could use major events and subsequent speeches by political bigwigs to demonstrate the cascade effect. 8. Avoid rewriting content. A DBQ essay is not an exercise that requires you to repackage content read. You are required to read and parse the content before writing it. This is because you should showcase your interpretation, and paraphrasing content will not do that. What are some common DBQ essay mistakes I can avoid? 1. Having no thesis statement, a thesis statement guides your paper and its ideas. Excluding the thesis leads to poor essay organization since you won't have a coherent flow of ideas, too. Having a thesis unrelated to the question, if the question is centered around economics, restrict your thesis to economics. If not, the topic could go in a different direction, making you lose marks. 3. Thesis paraphrases the question. Repeating or paraphrasing the question shows a lack of critical thinking, analysis, or creativity. A thesis should introduce a point you must argue, so avoid this, as it can lead to a poor essay. 4. Misinterpreting the documents. Be sure to read the documents provided keenly. This is because skimming them can lead to avoiding certain points, which can also affect your essay and interpretation of the question. You also do not want to have a false view of the content since, in some cases, writers use various literary devices to communicate certain themes. 5. Avoiding the use of historical information. Historical information can help you earn more marks as it is sourced from your knowledge. It enhances the essay and demonstrates your authority on the subject, thus providing a chance for you to score higher marks since it indicates that you know how to write a captivating DBQ essay.